so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! We're coding, we're co co coding we're going to code! <laughs> I'm so excited! Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Urban League Bay Area in Oakland, California! And we are going to learn how to code computers. We're gonna meet new friends, play some games. Will you come and play and learn with me? Oh, amazing! Let's robot out of here. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ken Maxi, and great to see you here. Oh, what do you do here? Well, I'm the CEO of the Urban League of the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm so happy to have you here. We're a civil rights organization focused on African Americans in underserved communities. Oh, that's really cool. One of the things that we focus on today is with kids. And so Kids Teach Tech is a program that focuses on coding as well as making games for kids. Oh, I really like playing games. Are we gonna play a game today? We sure are. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play a parachute game and that's gonna bring everybody together just like computer parts do. Whoa, that's yeah. very cool. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, come right. on. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is my friend, Mika. Hi. Could I play with you? Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. Should we try and keep the ball up in the air on the parachute? Yeah. Should we try and bounce up in the air? Okay, let's do it. Whoa. Thank you. Put it back in the middle and then grab your handle. Ah! See, we're working together. Ah! All right, freeze, freeze, freeze. Ah! Oh, good listening. We work together, huh, to keep that ball on the parachute. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance? Let's all dance. Coding teachers, and what's coding? Coding is when you tell a computer what to do. Oh, kind of like the game Tara says or Ava says? Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to play a game with Mika says? Yeah, that sounds really fun. Let's do it. Hi. Do you want to play a game with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what if we played Mika says? Yeah. yeah. And you can play too. Do you know how to play Mika says? Yes. Okay, so when I say Mika says, you have to do whatever I say. But don't do it if I don't say Mika says. So for example, if I say Mika says, cover your eyes. Mika says, pat your belly. Hop like a frog. Whoa, good listening, because I didn't say Mika says. Okay, ready to play for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Mika says, jump up and down. Mika says, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, I like your roars. Mika says, roar. Roar, 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 roar. Mika says, turn around. Pat your knees. Oh, I didn't say Mika says. You have to really listen, right? Okay, Mika says, show me your best dance move. Ooh, Mika says, her like a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Mika says, bark like a dog. Jump up and down again. Oh, oh. I didn't say Mika says. Mika says, clap your hands. Good job. Wow, that was excellent work, coders. That's similar to how a computer works. Oh, that's right, because you give a computer instructions and then the computer knows what to do. Correct, and anyone can code, even two-year-old Maya code using blocks. No way, that's so cool. <gasps> that gives me a great idea for another game. What if we played freeze dance? Let's do it. Are you ready to play? Yeah! yeah. And will you play too? Amazing! Okay, so when the music's on, we're gonna dance right and do our best dance moves. And then when the music stops, you freeze. Everyone know how to play? Yeah! All right, let's dance! <laughs> Whoa, good freeze. Are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Should we dance again? <laughs> Whoa! Are you frozen? <laughs> you are so good at freeze dance! Should we dance one more time? <laughs> wow, you are so good at freeze dance. Hey, it's like you all are like a computer and I was like a coder giving you instructions. That's so cool. Great job, computer. Everyone, I have some really cool gold stars to give you. Good job playing freeze dance and using good listening ears. Here you are. Here you are. You want a sticker? There you go, good job everyone. And good job to you too. Hey you two. Hi. I heard that you are both really good coders, so I bet you really know your way around a computer, huh? Did yeah. you know that a phone is a computer? A phone is a computer? Yeah, that's right, a really small computer. I did know that a computer's memory is called RAM. And hey, we used our RAM earlier when we played all those games to remember what to do. Correct, and some other cool things to know, there's a lady named Katherine Johnson who was known as the human computer. She helped astronauts out on the moon. Yeah, I've heard of her, a really smart coder who inspired a lot of people to become space cadets and work for NASA. Wouldn't it be cool to be a space cadet? Yes. yes. And also Mae Jemison. Mae was the first black woman to travel into space. She served as a mission specialist aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. Oh, that's amazing. Two really smart coders. And you're two smart coders. What are you working on over there? Puppy, puppy party. Puppy party? Let's check it out. Oh, look at those cute puppies. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they are. And what's all this? This is our code. Oh, is the code kind of like the instructions? Of course. Oh, neat. So once we finish the game, it'll look like this. So we go around, tag all the puppies, Aww. little cuties, Aww. and then at the end, you dance. Wow, that's so fun. I can't believe you two created this game all by yourselves. I'm so impressed. Thank you for showing us all of that. Now let's dance out of here like puppies. Dance like puppies, yes please. Come on. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Hey, let's keep playing. Mika says run in a circle. Ready? Mika says do four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Mika says take a break. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just code myself? <laughs> that was so cool. What a fun day learning and playing at Urban League Bay Area. We learned how to code computers and I think it's really cool that a phone is a computer. A really small computer. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Mika says, bounce like a ball. Boing. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! here we go. Woo! <gasps> Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, because yes. first things first, safety first. Yes, so let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. 
arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yeah. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. So. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, oh. a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Um, because it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam, and I have a silver on the floor, and on the team, and on the all-around. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the medal colors? Yes, so the gold is number one. It's like the first place, and silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yes. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay. Are you excited? I'm so excited. OK, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively <laughs> means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Sure. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to make mm -hmm. sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, one two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam, for the plant. Beam. And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going, <laughs> keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made so it to the stop. end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walks. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there flamingo. we go. Step. Flamingo. <laughs> step. Flamingo. Now in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery too. Yes. So one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're gonna try a scale. Uh-huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're gonna take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body you write with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. 
Lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. Okay, last one. Are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually going to do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay. Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you want to squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're going to go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. There we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay. We can try it again. Count to 10 and try again. <gasps> Will you count to 10 with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together. And I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Good job! Yay! Okay. <laughs> I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. So with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there. Mm -hmm. And you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Dad. Let's do it. <laughs> This is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this. Take a deep breath and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym because safety is definitely first. Mm-hmm, most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, Build feel your foot. behind you, and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay, one, one <gasps> two. two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four flamingos. Good job. Spas, spas, spas. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you. You feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump. Keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands. You use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together. Go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! <laughs> that was really good. That okay. was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Good job! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you want to go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! <laughs> So, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great. But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. <laughs> Thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off. A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes. yes. That sounds great. Okay, 
So I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. Let's give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another new skill. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean. Of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S H A W N Sean. <laughs> Bye, friends. Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
Hello! Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> what? Using dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Wow, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh, very cool. And this one has wings, so we can fly. Whoa! These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is, the T-Rex! Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine, I wanna go down the slide. Oh, <laughs> you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure, here we go. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say, you can do it, you got this. Okay. You can do this. You got this. Come on, T-Rex. Yeah, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Whoa, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. Let's see if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa, okay to get even taller than that. Oh, have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on, taller, taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks, taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Hi, Naisha. Oh. Who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with... Ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> Ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye, purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this. Pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> How do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? 
Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and rub your chin like this. Red! <laughs> nice! Bye, red! Oh, yes! Another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow! Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y, and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow! Good job! Bye, yellow! Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too. And really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, it needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh, you can? Can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you. Yep, okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice park job. Oh. Look at these circles. See a red circle. <gasps> oh, hi. <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend. Hello. And another orange. <gasps> hi. Oh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi. <laughs> And look, look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool, check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm, yellow or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow. Remember? <laughs> and orange. Orange is, yeah. Orange and purple, one of my favorites. Remember, purple, good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B, blue. Good job, that was so fun learning that today. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains and dinosaurs, <laughs> and blocks, and my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. 
Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on! Whoa! Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> hey, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa! Come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah! Have you ever been to a grocery store before to pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles. That's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And a mini pretzels. Let's go, we have to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers. Okay, and we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle and pretzels. Okay, looks like it's, oh, only $3? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red. Whoa. <laughs> well, it looks like Class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know 
what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right, usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. <gasps> this is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh. oh, he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Oh, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our Skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Whoa. <laughs> and we could pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I notice a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon. Oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <gasps> yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa, that was so fun. Hey, let's 
imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this. I got this. I got this. I did it. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh. Have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy Bees. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs>
way to the top by using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo! <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. <gasps> Look, we're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah. And here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Click. Grab our wheel. <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool pattern. 
pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Ooh. Oh, whoa, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. Whoa. Awesome. That was so much fun. Let's find another wall to climb. This wall is awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in. Click. And release the key. Mika point, here I come. Put in my key, release the wheel. <gasps> that was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. <gasps> we had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great, M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, see you later, bye. Hey everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands Ooh, in order to go inside the park. I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. 
I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines. I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow. <laughs> Quincy. Quincy. Except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam. So it's soft and squishy. So it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit and you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Oh, maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? <gasps> hey, there's a basketball hoop. <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew, you don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their 
tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. All right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist. Okay, ready? Whoa, like oh, that? Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I got what else can we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. Become the ball. <laughs> Here I go. Whoa! <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're going to get a whole <laughs> lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, you just gotta have fun with it in there. Hop over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly. It's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm going to take all of these things, and I'm going to practice, and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline wanted to learn how to do a flip today and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and 
and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me. That's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. We'll see you next time. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Mika. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, can you just? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. You can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. Oh, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels. Make sure you go in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> oh. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Wow, oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. 
and they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one Pontoon. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but a bit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely. But the three things that you're going to use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here that's oh, going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> Yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. I'm gonna flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not gonna right. use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. 
This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Wow, can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A. H. Nika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello. Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low. You're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. 
Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job, smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you wanna have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, all right, see you soon. It's me, Mika. Today, I'm at a very cool place called Lost World's Myth and Magic in Las Vegas, Nevada. <gasps> Whoa, that was a magical moment. Hmm. Do you see those statues? Let's go check them out. Wait, you're not a statue. <laughs> Hello, my lady. I am Sir Adam of the Kingdom of Lost Worlds. Hello, Sir Adam. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And Mika, I have a mystical quest. Can you please help me with it? Oh, yeah. The baby dragons of the kingdom have escaped. Can you please help us find them? Of course. Here is a scroll with your instructions. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> OK, we have to find these baby dragons. There's a blue one, a green one, a purple and a red dragon. Will you help me find them? Great. <laughs> Do I have everything I need for my mythical quest? All you need is your Lost World safety socks. Oh. And remember to follow the dragon footprints to help you find the babies. Great. Follow the dragon footprints. OK, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Whoa. Check out this castle. <laughs> there are lots of places for a baby dragon to hide here. Oh, we're going to find you, baby dragon. Oh, look at these trees. Whoa, they're so tall. Let's count how many trees there are. One. <laughs> two. Oh, and look, I see another forest. Check it out. This is a cylinder. Oh, hey, you know what else is shaped like a cylinder? <laughs> yeah, tree trunks. <laughs> wow, this is a very enchanted forest. <laughs> and look, a bridge. Whoa. OK, let's go over the bridge like a knight on a horse. Ready? Whoa. Do you see that hot scotch? <laughs> yeah. I have an idea. Let's hop on the orange numbers. Do you know which ones are the orange numbers? <laughs> yeah, two and six. Okay, let's hop away. Yeah! Whoa, a boat. Let's get inside. I like sailing with my best friends, being brave and flying dragons. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's keep going. Look! A whole herd of horses! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna press the red button, see what happens next. Whoa! Here we go! <laughs> and 
Check it out. Do you see what I see? <laughs> yeah. Dragon footprints. Wow. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three. Three footprints. Hmm, let's look at our scroll. What does it say? <gasps> Follow the footprints to find where the baby dragon's lair is. Oh, <laughs> it must be that way. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there are more footprints. We must be getting closer. Whoa, I bet the baby dragon is in there. <gasps> Let's go for a swim and find our first baby dragon. Okay, ready? Splash! <laughs> okay, let's swim. <laughs> oh! Check it out! We found a baby dragon! <laughs> and it's blue, just like this ball pit. Awesome! We did it! Great job! Okay, baby dragon, let's go find your other friend. <laughs> This quest is getting so exciting. Let's keep finding baby dragons. Uh, hey, there's a dragon right there. No, but not the baby dragons we're looking for. But look at this. More cylinders. Ooh. This looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> Whoa. Peekaboo, I see you. Whoa, check this out over here. Blinds! Oh, and inner tubes too. Let's count the inner tubes. One, two, three. And they're so colorful. Do you know what these colors are? Yes, yellow and blue. <laughs> Whoa! And look! More dragon footprints! I wonder where they lead. I know! I'll get a tube and slide down. This is gonna be so fun! Here we go! Three, two, one, go! Woo! <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Hey, what's that? <gasps> Whoa! Uh -huh. I think we just found our next dragon. Hi, baby dragon. Look, we found the red dragon. Awesome job. Okay, let's go look for more of its friends. <gasps> Whoa, this room is so cool. Look, more dragon footprints. Yep, we must be headed in the right direction. Wow, check it out. Boxes. Hmm, I wonder if there are any dragons inside. <laughs> Let's count the boxes. One, two, three. Three boxes. <gasps> I know. Let's make a beat. Dragons, come out and play. We've been looking all day. Dragons, come out and play. Don't be afraid, it'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> let's head up this ramp. <laughs> wow, this whole room is purple. One of my favorite colors. <gasps> let's ask this dragon for help. Excuse me, have you seen any baby dragons? No, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Maybe they're over here. Let's search far and wide. Hmm, dragons? Nope, let's keep exploring. Ooh. Maybe over here. Hello, baby dragons, where are you? <laughs> Check it out. 
check it out. More footprints. Let's see where they lead. <gasps> hey, we found the purple dragon. <laughs> Three dragons found, one more to go. <gasps> Whoa, an obstacle course. And it's in a forest. <gasps> Let's pretend to be in a forest looking for our last dragon. <gasps> Look, this is our first obstacle. Have to make it across the river. Okay, let's get in our boat. Whoa, we made it to land. And look, there's a big forest wall to get over. Whoa. Hmm, how do I get on top? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we made it. Oh, there's some more water waves though. <laughs> Let's fly down. <laughs> Check it out, some vines. Let's take a swing on these vines. Oh, let's keep going. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, check out these logs. Hmm, I wonder how we'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'll go under. I got it. Let's pretend to be squirrels in a forest. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, check out these rings. Woo <laughs> Whoa, this is a great forest adventure, friend. And look, I think I see dragon footprints ahead. Yeah, we found some more footprints. Okay, let's see if there's a dragon on the other side. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, <gasps> excuse me. <laughs> oh, another mountain. Let's give it a climb. Climb, 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 climb. <laughs> hey, check <gasps> it out. We found our last dragon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check our scroll to make sure we have all four dragons. Let's see. Mm hmm. We have blue and purple and red and green. Great job, friends. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Great job. Sir Adam, we did it. We found all the baby dragons. Oh, wonderful. You have finally returned them and completed your magical quest, which has earned you the right to become a knight. Oh, whoa, did you hear that? We're knights now, <laughs> yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's time to say I love break. Woohoo, we did it. <laughs> Bye, Sir Adam. Bye, Night Mika. Bye, baby dragon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was such a magical adventure. I had so much fun looking at those dragon footprints and finding all the colorful baby dragons. We played in a ball pit, went down a slide, and threw a night's nice obstacle course. <laughs> Great job. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, knights, see you later. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Cake Bash Studio in Lake Balboa, California. They have so many fun cakes to decorate here. And maybe I'll get to do some decorating of my own. Come on. Whoa, check out all these delicious treats. Hmm, I wonder what they all are. Oh, hey, look at this treat right here. That's called Tres Leches. Oh, and look, don't these look delicious? Those are cake pops. Oh, they kind of look like balloons. <laughs> Can you pretend to hold a balloon and float away? Ooh, oh. <laughs> oh, and check out this. 
Do you know this shape? That's right, it's a square. Hmm, do you know what fruit this is made out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a lemon bar made out of lemons. Whoa, so many delicious things here. Yum, look at these cakes. Oh, I really like how they're decorated. Look, do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> That's right, it's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> Oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh, I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis, how can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. Oh, you came to the perfect place. <laughs> That's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. Hmm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mm, well, we have plenty of inspiration, so Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa! Look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. <gasps> Whoa, look, a unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out, wow. This is called fondant, and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes, like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E, -E, love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> Oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? Bloop, 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 bloop. I love cake, cake is great. I love cake, cause it makes me wanna wiggle and shake. <laughs> okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome, so here we're gonna get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're gonna meet me at the cake decorating station, okay? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa. Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool, I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> first, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, Oh, yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> some pumpkins. 
Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Kind of look like mermaid tails. Cool. I'd like some of those, please. And check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> some of those. And hmm. Oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat, too. I just washed my hands. I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome. So now we're going to work in some fondant. OK. OK, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're going to take the amount of fondant you want to use, roll it so you can smooth it out. OK. And then you're going to roll. Roll it? Yes. Kind of like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. <laughs> there you go. Your rolling Ooh, pin. Ooh, my rolling pin. Now I'm going to roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah. One smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. OK. All right, you're ready. So now you're going to choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You're going to press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? OK, let's pull this part away. Check it out. A beautiful flower. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a daisy, maybe it's a sunflower, or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for, it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so now what shape are you gonna use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. Now remember, press and wiggle, wiggle. Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered! I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. Let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex! Roar! Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar! You too. <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right. There you go. <laughs> A blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh. Hello, T-Rex. We can see his bones and everything. All right. Roar. That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. Edge this out, edge this out. <laughs> there you go. And here we can use that. Oh, yeah. Thing so, see, it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Perfect. There. there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk, honk, honk. All right, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream, and we have our food coloring. These are primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. 
When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. Oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, I will mix <gasps> red and blue. There we go. Okay, time to stir. Wow, it's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Meredith. Bye, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. Oh, oh, oh. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, I want to put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Rawr. Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Wow, okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas, open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow. Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it, <laughs> yeah. Wow, awesome. We decorated a cake. Whoa! Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then, we cut shapes into the fondant. And then we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Okay, friend. I'll see ya. Later. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, <gasps> yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. <gasps> I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. Great job, keep going. Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. Oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> keep rowing, friend. You're doing a great job. Oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow! Look at
look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back? <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. Their bellies eat up all the food. Yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. Stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my Sea Quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Let's feed them some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa. I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa. And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. Here you go, Norman. No, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay. I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. Hey, Janelle. What do you do here? I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow, they're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? Wow. And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of 
kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Hop, hop. <laughs> Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Oh, whoa! Will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right, would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Oh, look. They like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> What does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's not turn off. Oh, nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial. Oh. Or mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Quilliam. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> These quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa, feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does, he has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa, a coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> Ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. 
<laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays and Azalea the Wallaby and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals were so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, let's hop away like wallabies. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. I'm here at Raymond Alf Museum in Claremont, California, where they have dinosaurs. I need your help. I hear they have a baby Parasaurolophus here named Joey. That looks just like this one. She lives here at the museum and I can't wait to meet her. What? She's right behind me? Where? Oh, you're right, that was her. Let's follow her and learn about other dinosaurs too. Maybe we'll meet some new dino friends. Wow! Check out these fossils! <laughs> fossils are the bones of animals that lived a long, 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 long time ago. The study of ancient life through fossils is called paleontology. And scientists study fossils in order to tell us more about animals. And not just dinosaurs either. They studied all kinds of fossils, like this one right here. Check it out! It's a giant alligator that lived seven million years ago. Whoa, that's a long time ago. Okay, alligator, I'll see you later. Let's go find some other dinosaur fossils. Come on. Whoa, check it out. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did you know the T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite dinosaur? Awesome! In fact, I always keep a little T-Rex with me wherever I go. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a T-Rex? <laughs> wow! The Tyrannosaurus Rex is a carnivore, which means they eat meat. They have really sharp teeth for chewing their food. but. Not all dinosaurs are carnivores, you know. Some are herbivores, which means they eat plants, nuts, and berries. Their teeth are really, really flat for grinding up food. <laughs> awesome! Okay, little buddy, see you later. Whoa! Check out these marine fossils. These animals lived in water. Oh, do you see the fish? Let's count them. One, two, two fish. Oh, let's count the ammonite shells too. Ready? One, two, two shells. Awesome counting. Oh, and check it out. This is a fossilized sea turtle, an ancient one from millions of years ago. Let's count its Flippers. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. Four flippers. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim, 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 just like a sea turtle. Oh, whoa! Check it out! This dinosaur is huge! Does this look like a Parasaurolophus? Uh, no, he doesn't have the crest on his head. Let's see what this dinosaur is called. Oh, this is an Allosaurus. <laughs> cool, it has a really long tail. That's so it can balance when it's running and walking. Oh, and look at its fingers. Whoa, let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> Three fingers. Oh, and check out his sharp teeth. Did this dinosaur eat meat or plants? That's right, 
It's a carnivore because it has sharp teeth. Awesome job, friend. Okay, let's go find more dinosaur friends. Here we go. Check it out. We made it to the Hall of Footprints. I wonder if, oh, look, it's baby Joey. Let's see if we can catch up to her. Go! Joey? Joey? Huh, we must have just missed her. <gasps> Whoa, check out these dinosaur footprints. Hmm, not much bigger than my foot. <laughs> Ooh, here I come. <laughs> oh, and check out these footprints. Whoa. The reptile that made these must have been really small because the footprints aren't very big. <gasps> Check out these footprints. Wow. Paleontologists didn't just study bones. They also studied track marks. And this is a mold of a dinosaur footprint. <gasps> Whoa, it's so big. Much bigger than my hand. Oh, I got it. Let's count the dinosaur toes. Most dinosaurs had three toes. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three. Three dinosaur toes. Oh, check it out over here. Some more footprints. But this is from a camel. And camels only had two toes. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. Come on, let's check out some more footprints. Whoa, do you see those? I bet this is an animal you know. I'll give you a hint. Meow, meow. That's right, it's a cat paw. Let's count the toes. One, two, three, four little cat toes. <laughs> awesome job. I got it. Let's go see if we can do our own archaeological dig. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a dig pit. When we dig inside, we'll find fossils. <laughs> Are you ready for our fossil dig? <laughs> Me too. Wow, this feels a lot like sand. Okay, I'm ready to dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig down deep, dig, dig, dig. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. Oh, digging is a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something. Check it out. It's a turtle shell. Awesome. Okay, let's put it in our pretend bowl. Doop. Let's dig over here now. Dig, 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 dig down deep. <gasps> Check it out, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, my favorite dinosaur. And it's orange. Aw, just like one of Blippi's favorite colors. Cool, let's keep digging. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, what else will we find in here? <laughs> this is cool. I like how it feels on my fingers. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, this is a big fossil. Oh, it's a dinosaur egg. <gasps> Whoa, awesome job. I'm still, <gasps> another fossil. Check it out. It's a T-Rex claw. <gasps> Whoa, I got it. I need my magnifying glass. This helps us see things closer and clearer. Ooh, whoa. Awesome job, friend. Oh, wait, what's that? Sounds like a dinosaur, but it doesn't sound like a T-Rex roar. Let's go check it out. Come on, T-Rex. <gasps> a Parasaurolophus roar doesn't sound like a roar at all. In fact, it sounds like a horn. Check it out. Whoa, did you hear that? 
<laughs> Let's try to make that sound too. Ready? Um. <laughs> Great job. Let's listen again. Wow. Let's try this one. This is what Joey might sound like. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, let's keep looking for Joey. Hey, is this the baby Parasaurolophus we've been looking for? <laughs> let's check. What do you think? I think so too, we found Joey. Are you Joey? <gasps> hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet ya. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> Do you like to eat plants or meat? <gasps> That's right, Joey is an herbivore. <gasps> Good Joey, can I give you some chip scrunches? <laughs> this calls for a 10 second dance party. We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it! Great job! See you later, Joey! Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun! It was awesome learning all about dinosaurs with you. We did important work digging in a dig pit to find fossils, and we even learned how to talk like a dinosaur! Honk! Honk! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H Mika! All right, friends! See you later! Bye-bye! It's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oop. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Oh 
almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Do we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there. There's more. <gasps> wow, look! It's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw. But one day, it's going to grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay. Do you want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too, there's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out, it's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side.
wait till it gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. <gasps> can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, good night. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You could do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum. Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right, whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and oh! I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sun. That's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Hmm. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. There's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I 
think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. Will you do one with me? Awesome. Let's see how we can get started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy, and welcome to ODBK's new learning playground. Hi, Trudy. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste, and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What? That sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? <laughs> cool. So how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Check it out. We're at the science lab. For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go. Whoa! Mind gym. Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> wow! This is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> see all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Oh, looks like a balloon and a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, <laughs> this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut, but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay, good job. We have our first item. Check it out. A word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up. So it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one. <laughs> look. P-E-A-R, pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safety. Safety, like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. <gasps> Do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors. The color yellow. <laughs> <gasps> we did it! We found safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down. Four to go. 
safety goggles, and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. <gasps> oh, whoa! It's like a grocery store or a market in here. <gasps> Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool! It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, broccoli. <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice. These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables. They have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa. This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty tasty. See if there's anything in here. <gasps> I found yeast. We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make Bread, that's right. Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job, let's keep looking. <sighs> okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. <gasps> Come over here. <gasps> oh, look at these big blocks. Huh, let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Huh, ah, feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> put this on it and this, or it could be a throne. Queen Hamika. <laughs> oh, I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm, maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. <laughs> Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that's a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet and swing, 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 swing. <laughs> but you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner and it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left foot yellow, see? Left foot yellow. Hmm. Left foot Yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa, need to try not to fall down. <gasps> I might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right, mm. come over here. It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. 
I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right, let's, oh, they go in these cubbies over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> hi. <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Look what I found. Dish soap. We definitely need this for our experiment. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right, I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment, and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. It says A R. T, art! <laughs> this is an art space. <gasps> cool, look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm gonna choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's, what should I draw? Ooh, I know, see if you can guess. It's a science flask. You can use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> it's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. <laughs> oh, and it's my two favorite colors. Purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> Hey, Mr. B, I like your style, purple and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. <laughs> <gasps> Measuring cups. That's the last thing we need for our science experiment. We found everything. Let's head into the science lab. Come on. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Mika, welcome back. Thank you. I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment. Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah. I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika, you are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? There you go. Oh, thank you so much. An official lab coat, awesome. Enjoy, thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone, safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. But remember, it's not really toothpaste, so please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. 
Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay, a squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's going to look yellow. Okay. All right. Next, we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up and get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. Ooh. There we go, one teaspoon, add it to the water, and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together, okay? And then we're gonna add it to the glass, and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. It's going to the top. Did you see some of the colors? Wow, it really looks like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa, <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey. Thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide. And there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today. All for the love of science. <laughs> well. That's the end of this video. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style. <laughs> Let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> Thanks for learning with me. See you soon. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. All guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. Oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? Oh, they're purple and yellow. And they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors, blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow, these are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> Or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, 
Welcome, friends. Come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends. Welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool. A circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm. Which one should I choose? I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect, and did you wanna add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie for my best friend? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and Latte. We also have a paint roller. Easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> And what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here, and those oh, yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth, <laughs> come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this Super smooth, time to sand. So we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base. And let's dry! Okay, you're dry. Wow! <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you want to do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm going to give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites. Rough and smooth. Whoop. Bobby pin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good, what do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you wanna do is Run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> wow. That looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it would look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect, so now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. You look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Now, 
let's see. My headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh, this is good. And, oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. Whoop, that is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each? Down towards you. So, yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa! Uh oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. Oop. Whoa! That looks so cool! How good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You're good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the grain. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Oop. Okay, we have one. Two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes 
And here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so <laughs> welcome. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. Come on everyone, let's make a learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Mika! Mika!